Hey y'all, this is Mel from Footwork and y'all are tuned in to my interview with Oki Magazine. Without the drama, you know, that is life, it'd be hard to kind of get the inspiration to write good music. So, you know, if life's not going to be perfect, why not get a good song out of it? You know, I think that's sort of the mantra that we've taken as a band. But um, basically, the album is called uh, Casual Encounters, which is kind of crazy, right? <laughs> but um, it's sort of a play on how we all kind of came together. And, um, you know, I, I think more... But, you know, the album is more than just casual. It, it's really just... Uh, therapeutic songs that Footwork and I, you know, we felt the need to write in order to, you know, move on from certain situations, you know, that we've experienced in life. Yes, I, I definitely think um, we were, you know, not so much subconsciously, I, I would say it was definitely a deliberate creation on our part, a deliberate intention on our part to create lyrics that, you know, people could could, could relate to. Um, and, you know, it, it's, I think whenever people come to our shows, it's, I always tell people you really just got to see us live because it's kind of like an, you know, sort of like a, an AA meeting or, you know, like a protest where, you know, a bunch of like-minded people come together for sort of, you know, support in terms of, you know, getting through life. And, uh, you know, I, I really, really think the best feeling that I've gotten is, you know, not having, you know, a thousand people singing or anything like that, singing your lyrics. I really, really think it's just that one person coming up after a show and telling you how much you were able to vocalize an emotion that they just couldn't convey on their own. So I think that's the best. <laughs> So this one's kind of funny. Craigslist. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, basically, there was an ad. I, well, I went to the musician's board on Craigslist. Kind of creepy. But um, the first ad I saw said, need a singer. So I, you know, responded, need a band. And um, I guess nobody died. So <laughs> I'd say it was a success. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It is, it is, but I don't really want to go into details just because I don't want the person that I wrote the song about to know, you know, that it's about him. Um, but yeah, Chill Switch, you know, it's a tale of, of lost love, um, a crush unable to blossom due to, you know, life getting in the way, kind of like Erica Badu's, you know, Maybe Next Lifetime, that kind of style. So Teddy, our keyboardist, actually came up with the song. And then Fern, our, our bassist, um, actually titled the song Chill Switch. And uh, this is before it had any lyrics. So, you know, one day we had a session and we were just all trying to come up with the words to the song. And I'm sitting in the corner, you know, just kind of writing something. And it just all started with, I met him on a Saturday, or rather, I met you on a Saturday. I'm over here forgetting my own lyrics. And uh, basically, um, from there, um, I remember thinking it was complete garbage. And then Eric, our percussionist, he goes, Melissa, what are you over there singing? And then Kyle's like, yeah, Melissa, what are you singing? And then I just, you know, kind of started singing a few a few little lines that I had come up with. And then everybody was like, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and Chill Switch was born. I grew up in Northwest DC, right around the corner for the most part from Twins Jazz Club. And I don't know if you know it, but Twins Jazz Club is located right um, on the U Street corridor, which actually used to be called Black Broadway. And the reason is, um, you know, there was a time uh, during segregation when uh, Black Americans in DC were not allowed to entertain themselves downtown. And so this is where, you know, uh, people came, black folks basically came to entertain themselves. And so um, another really, you know, great thing about Twins Jazz Club is that it's right around the corner from the Lincoln Theater, you know, Howard Theater, the 930 Club, Bohemian Caverns, U Street Music Hall, and, and of course, you know, the original Ben's Chili Bowl. So again, this is just, you know, at a, a tremendous um, historical location. Twins is actually owned by a set of fraternal twins. And um, they, as well as Wendy, um, were really, really gracious host, hostesses to us while we were there. Um, and I mean, this is, you know, Twins, is, is, it's more than just a venue. I mean, it, it's a social and an economic force within, um, you know, the, the 
changing climate of D.C., basically. So, I mean, it, it, it was really, really remarkable to be able to, to host Chill Switch there. We're a part of a collective of some super dope creatives in the D.C. area. And so, you know, pretty much we just called out some of our people and, you know, got them to be in the video. And, and even though everybody is really a friend, it's crazy because, you know, they could all really be the stars of the video. It's kind of crazy. So, I mean, Footwork was so fortunate. I mean, we had forever Duncan in the building. And this was literally... Kind of poetic in a sense because, I mean, Chill Switch was literally one of the last times that, you know, they were together as a couple before they, you know, blew up and went viral and got married and whatnot, which was really, really super dope. And then, you know, my girl Elise Ho was in the building. She was looking amazing. She's one of the co-founders of Feed It Forward, which is a nonprofit dedicated to, you know, basically creating these events around um, homelessness within D.C. and just trying to eradicate it. And then there was All Y'all Couture designer Huda Jalbao. The beautiful Huda Jalbawi, she was there. She actually handmade the gown that I wore in the video. And then she also, you know, made a, a wonderful cameo as well. And then our camera shot producer, Chris Wright of the Directors, surprised all of us by coming out. It was really, really an honor because Chris never comes out for stuff. So, you know, again, we it, it was just beautiful. And then I got to give a special thank you to Helmut Escorcia of Soja for taking the time out of his busy Grammy-nominated world schedule to come through, play, you know, do, do his thing, play the horn, as well as to make a cameo in the video. And then, of course, shout outs to Mambo Sauce, Soja, Feel Free, Godzilla, DeMont Picasso Pender, who was there from, I believe, it's April, and Steph Jones. And uh, let me see, am I forgetting anybody? <laughs> of course, how could I forget Just Paul, who kept us all entertained during all the breaks? I mean, he, he really, you know, every. If you don't know him, look out for him. As a matter of fact, Just Paul and Footwork have a video that's coming out right after Chill Switch. It's called Private Room. So stay tuned. Look out for it. <laughs> Lee Fields. Lee Fields of the of Lee Fields and the Expressions. Um, he's my uncle. He's actually my aunt's husband. And he I've been watching him do music my entire life. So definitely Lee Fields. Um, I would also have to say my hometown of D.C., just the music scene, Go-Go, Chuck Brown, I mean, him being the godfather of Go-Go, yeah. Lee Fields. <laughs> I mean, we've tried in the past, but it just didn't work out, um, but that's definitely a record that's, that's got to happen. And then um, I think Sage the Gemini. Um, wait, it's the guy, right? I think that's if it. I think that's his name. Yeah. Anyways, I don't. I really don't know his music, but I like his name. I'm a Gemini, so it sounds. Like Actually, we just played a sold-out show with Soja at the National in Richmond, Virginia. We were so psyched about that show. It was amazing. Um, and then we actually have a show coming up with Black Alley in Baltimore in May. To get the details for that show, you can just go to footworkband.com, and that's footwork with an E. We are so looking forward to playing all over the East Coast this year. Demand footwork in your city. I will even come play in your living room, so just, just do that. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny because I was just telling somebody the other day that I think Footwork would really, really, really make a really great reality TV show. Um, it's funny because we actually parodied MTV's Real World series in uh, our No Hurry video. So, um, yeah, I definitely think we could. One day. One day. Hopefully soon. I actually have a duet with Just Paul um, on a song called Private Room off of an upcoming project called Retrograde. Um, we're really, really excited about that, which is coming out um, really soon. And then um, I'll be doing a lot of monthly events with Feed It Forward. So, yeah, lots, lots to come.
Making homemade kombucha. Yes, I said kombucha, fermented tea. Um, yeah, I got the scoby and everything at home that I actually make the kombucha from. Um, studying astrology <laughs> and then aligning my chakras. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> I mean, the next step is, this is footwork, one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. So look out for private room and look out for retrograde because that's what's coming up next. Dream your life and live your dream. That's, that's it. Don't let anyone talk you out of your dream, not even yourself, because you're gonna try to do it. Remember that dreams don't work unless you do. They don't work unless you do. <laughs> so you've gotta put the time in. You're, remember, you're never too old to grow. You're never too wrong to be right. Just dream your life and live your dream to the best of your ability. Oh, and don't forget to listen to some footwork. And that's about it. <laughs> so that's my message. <laughs>